How's it going, guys? I'm Josh. And I am so California. I don't know what you mean. Oh, it's your shirt. And this is Grosh Talk. It's shirt. Yeah. Do you want a popsicle? What's up, guys? You're watching Garage Talk. The show where we Google stuff. You don't care enough to look up yourselves. We're starting off today with something a little more scientific than what we've uh, accumulated. Are you in kidding the past. me? We've already traveled across space. That's they true. know we know everything. Sorry, I just lay it on them. So there's a black hole in space. The, theoretically, there are no proven black holes in space. Well, I don't. I don't want to confuse them. This one's proven. Bull. And whatever. Around it, because of how much force this black hole has, it's smashing uh, hydrogen and oxygen atoms together, mm. and it's created a cloud surrounding the black hole of water. So that's interesting, because I didn't know, I thought there was no oxygen in space. Ah, yeah, who knows? I, I have no idea how this happened. So it's just pulling... Well, it's probably sucking things in that, you know, contain these atoms, and then it's just, because it's coming in so fast, it's smashing them together, creating water. Hmm. I don't know how this is happening... But apparently there's enough water in this cloud to give each person on Earth 20,000 times the amount of water that's on Earth. Each person. Okay, so hang on. Let me just break this down for okay, you. Okay, break it down. For them and for me even. There's a black hole. Black hole. In space. No quotes. <laughs> space. <laughs> space. I don't know if it's really there. I just see fireflies. Anyways, not important. <laughs> There's a black hole in space that has yeah. a cloud, a ring around Surrounded. it mm -hmm. that's not being sucked in. Is that what black holes do? In. They well, suck in the universe. It might be like a gravitational thing. That's like, it, like it, it might not be close. It could be super, super far off and just circling it. Okay, so if we're assuming that it pulls in the atoms that create water, mm -hmm. that being hydrogen and oxygen, mm -hmm. we're going to assume that it's pulling the stuff in constantly. Yes. That it doesn't stop. It's infinite. Yes. So that means this cloud... Is probably getting bigger. Yes. And this cloud currently <laughs> has enough water inside of it to give every person on Earth 20,000 Earths of water? Yeah. 20,000 Earths. And it's yeah. getting bigger. And it's getting bigger. So what happens when it hits a planet? It would probably rain that day. <laughs> it might be a little more than rain that day. Maybe like a monsoon weather. <laughs> Like, maybe we'll put up some you know, some of those sand blocks that the army comes. Maybe and... Noah's Ark was, you know, a, a, a real story. Maybe it was just like a warning. <laughs> you guys need some boats. <laughs> you guys need some big old boats, all right? God's looking down at us. Why are they living in boats? <laughs> they wore them so long ago. It's pretty amazing. I mean, you know what? Forget it getting bigger. If a black hole truly exists, I'm more worried about being pulled into it. I mean, we'll probably hit it before it hits us, if that's possible. And I mean, this thing is... Okay... There's 7.1 billion people on Earth right now. Mm -hmm. So for each one of those 7.1 billion, so 7.1 billion times 20,000. That's how much wa Earth of water there is in this cloud. Yeah. It's yeah. <laughs> a lot of water. That's crazy. That's... Did you ever wonder, like, you know how we're floating through space around of course. the sun? Do you ever wonder where... The whole our solar system's traje trajectory is. Of like, course, I mean, what is in the middle? But that's really hard because as the universe expands, as mm -hmm. we, as I believe it does, as the universe grows, does that mean that everything is just getting bigger with it, or is it adding a new center as it builds? Mm -hmm. Man, some weird stuff. Do you ever that's wonder why we're here? <laughs> no. Yeah, me neither. On to our more nerdy news, which I mean is always important for a good Grosh talk, and I mean, it's stuff that we can actually prove exists, which is always something that's yeah. exciting in my life. There's not usually press conferences for space. NASA holds. Well, okay. You know what? I'm not going to touch on that. So, uh, Final Fantasy has been around for a long time, and uh, their developer, Squaresoft, originally, and uh, Enix, which produced other RPG games a long time ago, they, a long time ago, or... I don't know, like about five years ago, mm. they grew into one company called Square Enix. And since then, Square Enix has basically been taking over all the biggest RPG names in video games, like Final Fantasy and Legend of Mana was a Square Enix project. Um, anyways, 
recently at the E3, which we covered a little bit about uh, in the last Grosh Talk, they just released their new graphics engine. And a graphics engine, for people don't, that don't know, is basically what makes a game have its physics. Mm -hmm. So when you jump, the graphics engine is what depicts where you should land and the level that you took off of and how high you jump or how, how low you go or even the body, how it moves, shadows from trees, shadows from anything. Mm -hmm. So back in the day, in old RPG games, when you had a, when you had a character, always the shadow was just a circle. I don't yeah. know, you know what I mean? Yeah. No matter what they were doing. But now, I mean... Just looking at a shadow in today's video games is incredible. You can really see the and water. The lucidity is, is amazing. Mm -hmm. There's dripping effects. Long story short, Square Enix has just released their new graphics engine called Luminess. And it's very exciting for gamers because it uses technology that we've never seen in a video game. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. uh, in the project commercial that they show for, you see an old man. And he's got this really scraggly beard. You see his little whiskers whistling in the breeze and... It sounds really weird to a person who's not a gamer. People who aren't gamers are like, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm sorry, but uh, hold on, because it gets a little conspiracious. Cons Conspiracy. Gets a little messed up. So Square Enix has come up with this revolutionary new graphics engine, and nerds around the world are like, yes, all games are going to look amazing from now on. They're going to look fantastic. I mean, no, there's all these new graphics, and Square Enix is like, oh, no. No, 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 you're stupid. We're not going to use this. We're not going to use it. They made this incredible commercial. Um, like I said, they, they are a video game production company. They made Final Fantasy. But they don't want to share the technology with anybody. And that, inclu that includes directors and people who could work for them, but then could also work for another company later on. So mm -hmm. any writers that could you know, have to draw something and then see it in production as they write for it, they don't want to give it to those people. Hmm. That being said, even if the game, a game with such graphics was made in today's you know, gaming standards on today's consoles, they probably wouldn't even be able to run it properly. I mean, when you watch the commercial and watch the video, watching it on the computer screen doesn't do it justice. You have to watch it with their hardware or else you don't really see what they're seeing. Mm -hmm. It's incredible. I mean, and it's like we were talking about just over E3. You were mm -hmm. talking about the only thing that games can do is really get... Better, gra graphics. better graphics and I said well how much better can graphics be and this, this, is it. this just punched me right in the face it was like graphics are going here bitch <laughs> I can barely keep up but I mean the thing is are they smart in keeping this to themselves literally they're keeping it like lock and key like the mm -hmm. president's beer like nobody's <laughs> touching this yeah. stuff well I mean I can understand where they're coming from because if this technology is as good as they say which we wouldn't know without actually seeing it mm -hmm. uh it would be in their best interest to keep it to themselves because it would make other companies come to them and them alone to develop games. Meanwhile, if and but that's opposed to you know selling it to everybody and you know allowing everyone else to use the same system. I don't know which way would make them more money, but I'm sure in their eyes this is the best decision for them. Right, but let me make a counterpoint to that. Okay. Like I said, the current consoles, they aren't powerful enough to use this technology, mm -hmm. right? And if nobody else has the technology, then the consoles aren't really pressured to putting in the time, the money, and the effort to making a console that can use it. Unless they're coming out with their own console. Square Enix come out with its own console? That would be something to see. I don't know how it would compete. Well... One, one series of games competing Well, I mean, it's because they have the engine. It doesn't just have to be Final Fantasy. They could move on to any type of game. Well, that's right, but I mean... And with other developers coming to them, giving them games to produce on their system, it could, if these types of games, like, if they came out with a game similar to Halo or similar to Call of Duty, you know, it could throw off the balance from Xbox and PS3. I don't... I want to say that I don't see Square Enix trying to take... A market away from one of the big three companies because I mean they make the games for these companies so I mean a game developer that makes a game for Xbox isn't going to want to share itself with this new company that's holding technology because mm -hmm. Xbox is going to say okay go right guess, ahead yeah I guess on the, you're not going to sell our yeah it's one company compared to three right exactly yeah. right so it, they're all they try to set a war if they try mm -hmm. to make their own console but like I was saying there's no point in Xbox PS3 or Wii, creating and putting time into making a new system that can contain this engine when they're only doing it for one series mm -hmm. of developers, right? Because it costs money. So is it really 
saving them money or is it just wasting money by making it so that no console can run it properly anyway? Mm-hmm. So it's all a weird kind of world. I think, you know what, I think eventually it's all going to be out there. This could just be to give them press at the moment. Like, we have this yeah. awesome technology, you don't get it. Of course. And then in a couple of years it's going to be like, you know what, yeah. Yeah, and then once the once a game is developed on the system, People other production awesome companies are going to grab it and they're going to try to take it apart piece by piece anyway. So eventually, all games will have the technology, but it seems like Square Enix really turned a corner on this one. So that's really mm-hmm. cool. I want to see what game they release first and... It could be the next Final Fantasy. Who knows? That would be sick. It would be pretty cool because, I mean, Final Fantasy's gameplay has always been above par. Yeah. And now adding in a whole other graphic yeah, engine. The, the graphics of Final Fantasy are phenomenal. Yeah. Like some of the best I've ever seen. Yeah, and also the storytelling. And mm-hmm. I mean, when you can imagine a world that really captures you, the storytelling is that much easier. So, yeah, it's very exciting stuff. Mm. To a gamer. To a gamer. Anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching another nerd edition of Grosh Talk. We covered space and video games and just mm-hmm. basically all the things that make me all giggly inside. If you like the video, definitely hit the thumbs up button down below. It helps with the show a lot. If you want to leave a comment or talk about, I don't know, space, do that in the comment section down below. If you want to watch this with your friends, share it to your Facebooks or your Twitters. Tweet us. Why not? And finally, if you want to follow us or be alerted when new videos come out, hit the subscribe button. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. We'll talk to you later. Peace.